Hey there, this is Thiago Mazil, and I'm a product marketing manager here at one.com. And in this video, I'll walk you through seven steps that you need to create your first website and put it up and running in no time. Our website builder makes it super easy for anyone to create a website. So you don't need any technical experience or coding skills to do that. First things first, before you can start building your website, you need two things. First, you need a name for your website, and this is why you need a domain name. Think of this as a street address of your website. So whenever people type in your domain name into the browser, they will find your website. Web hosting. The second thing you need is web hosting. If the domain name is your street address, think of web hosting as your house, where you will store all your things, right? In this case, it will be all the files that you put in your website, like your text, pictures, and many other elements. You can easily get those things by going to one.com and by typing the domain name you want into this bar right here and later choosing a hosting plan. If you are just starting out, I would recommend you to get the beginner plan as it is the most affordable plan. This way you can test things out on a budget and you can always upgrade to a bigger plan later on if you need. Now, if you have a domain and hosting plan, let's head over to your control panel and access the website builder. When you first access it, it will ask you to fill in some general information about your website. And as the last step, you will be able to choose a template. You can write what is your business all about, or you can simply click here to see all templates, which I recommend you to do. We have developed over 150 different templates, so you should be able to find one that suits you. But don't worry about the type of business it's talking about, or if it has images that you don't like. Just choose it with the design of the website in general because you can fully customize it later on which in fact is our next point customize the design you will see that your template consists of individual components and you can edit them by simply clicking on it and doing the adjustment you want like dragging to another place for example just notice that it will be highlighted if you overlap another element besides that you can always click on the element or right click on the element and explore its function functionalities to see what you will be able to customize. If you want to add a new component to your pages, you can click or drag from the sidebar on the left side of the screen to the section that you're working on. I'm not going to cover all the details on all the components and functionalities on this video, otherwise it would be a very, very long video. But if that is a video you would like to see here in the channel, please leave a comment down below and we can work on it to create a new video for you. I suggest you take your time and explore the components here on this sidebar. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team by clicking right here changing the color theme. You might be already comfortable with the color from the theme you have chosen, but notice that you can always customize that and change to a color pattern that fits your brand. When you change the color theme, all components of your website will be updated so you can have consistency in your website. But if you don't want that, you can always disable the theme color. You can easily add buttons to your website to be used as a call to action with the purpose to engage with your customers or encouraging them to take an action like making a reservation, accessing a specific link, buying a product and many other things. And you can fully customize the shape of it to the way you want it. The header and footer are important parts of your website because that is usually where you'll have all your menus, your logo and other relevant information for your users to navigate to your website. And just so you see, it's super simple to edit them. So let's say I want to change the menu and you can hide or show a specific page from it and adjust it to the way you want it. So how to add a favicon? First, what is a favicon? Or, or should I pronounce fab icon? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Well, a favicon is a small icon that appears in your browser tab, like this one I have open in another tab here, for example. And you can simply add it by clicking on more and then click on set logo. And from there, you can add an image right here. So which is usually an icon that reflects your logo. When you choose a template, it already set you with some basic pages. 
but you can always remove pages in case you don't need them. You can add new pages or you can customize the existing ones to the way you want it. You can manage your pages from here. So let's say we want to add a new page, for example. We should come here and even after you have chosen a template, you can still choose a different page layout like this one, for example. So just choose one, click, and here you go. You can also duplicate an existing page if you want to have a new page with a similar layout or look. Or you can also create a new layout with sections by adding one or multiple sections like this one and by dragging components from the sidebar as we discussed previously. What kind of pages should you create? This is completely up to you and it depends on the purpose of your website. Most templates give you a good starting point by having like a home page an about us page and a contact page and these are the pages that usually exist on most of the websites but you can add as many pages as you like if you sell products or services it might make sense to create pages for those products or services maybe you'll even want to create some more in-depth pages that highlight specific features of your product or a service if you want to be able to sell products on your website you can upgrade to the business and e-commerce add-on and the best the best part is that you can upgrade it for free until your next renewal. So if you have just signed up for a hosting plan with one.com, you can have this add-on for free up to one year. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can check it out. So now the most of the design is done. You should focus on adding a unique content to your website. And that could be, for example, a text, an image, or video elements. This will tell your visitors what your website is all about. Content is much more than writing a bunch of text. It is very important to decide how you communicate to your visitors. The quality of your content can make a huge difference in how people perceive your website and if they become a customer or not. One of the main challenges when you are creating your first website is where to get stock images to populate your website. Luckily, you get access to three stock images from our library in the Website Builder Starter Package. And if you have the Website Builder Premium or the Business and E-Commerce add-on, you will be able to add as many images as you like from our database and also have the option to upload your own images and make your website even more custom. Our developers made it super easy for you to add YouTube videos to your website. You can simply drag the video component to the section within your page and from here add a link to the YouTube video that you want to have on your website and voila! By the way, this is a video we created on how you can attract new customers using gift cards, which is a feature from our business and e-commerce add-on. So feel free to check it out. It could be really good for you after you create your website. Now, if you have done all the previous steps, you are just one step away from publishing your website. But before that, it is very important to see how your website will look on a mobile device because many people are accessing the internet from a mobile nowadays. And for this reason, we have built the mobile editor view so you can check how everything looks and do any adjustments if needed. But if you have chosen one of our templates, you should be covered as they are all mobile responsive. Don't forget to save your progress so you don't lose any of the changes to the templates that you have made so far. You can also preview your work before publishing it. And you can do that by clicking right here. After previewing your website on both mobile and desktop, just ask yourself a few basic questions like, are you happy with the design? Is the use of color, fonts, and other styling consistent? Is the content informative and engaging? Are there no grammar or spelling mistakes? Are all the buttons working? If you are okay with all the questions, then it's time to publish your website. So just click on publish and your website will be live for everyone to see. Of course, you can always come back to the website builder to make new changes. Just remember to publish it every time you make a new change so they go live. This is pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please leave us one of these guys right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and hit the notification bell to see whenever we post new videos. Thank you very much and I see you on the next video.